Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is Introduction to Python. And in today's workshop, we're going to be covering how to do for loops. So if you already know how to program in any other programming language, you're probably familiar with for loops and you just need to know syntax. If you haven't done for loops before or haven't done any programming, then for loops are a really important concept that you do need to know. For loops are a part of this sub or a subset of this broader category called loops. And loops essentially allow you to r run a set of code over and over again. And then for loops just puts a layer of conditions to say how many times you want that code to run. So to put it in simpler terms, if I want to ask what someone's name and age was and output this logic of this program w three times, for example, what I would do is copy and paste this code three times. But that'd be really inefficient. It's hard to tell what what is part of what section unless you comment really well and as well like if i want to change my senior discount rate it's pretty difficult so it's not really an efficient way to program even though you could totally do it but i wouldn't necessarily recommend it so one alternative to, to get around that is to do a for loop so here you go for i and i it's just a variable it could you could literally put anything else battery camera building sky green whatever it's just a just a variable but it's a very common approach so i do recommend that you do do for i just so that other people will understand it and inherently know what you mean so here we go for i and then we're going to do the first method is to do range so we're going to go range so what we need to do here is put our start put our stop and then put our increment so here we're going to go for i in range one and if I want to repeat something three times, as an example, then I need to put four. And the reason why, this is always a little bit hard to grasp your head around, and you do need to recognize this for Python and other programming languages. And in this case, for range, what it does is actually goes, it will go one, it will basically say, go first condition, less than or equal, and then whatever your number is and then go less than the last condition so you always have to put one higher than your last con whatever your end destination is so in this case my end destination would be three but and so and then here you could then include if you wanted to increment besides incrementing by one if you want to increment by two as an example uh, this is just important to know so here, this program should run three times. So if we go ahead and run that. It'll ask you what your name is. King, how old are you? I am 19. Okay, I'm too young to rent. Um, maybe next name is Ahmed. And the age is 26. Okay, you can rent from us. And maybe the last name is uh, Sue. And then how old is Sue? Let's say 70. Okay, Sue qualifies for senior discount. Okay, that's, that's useful to know. So essentially this for loop will run everything indented. What happens if I want to include additional code but I didn't want it to be included in the for loop? Okay, that's, that's a good question. So one way of approaching that would be to basically the for loop knows that everything is included as long as it's indented here and it'll keep doing that until it, it finds a set of code that's not indented and then it'll know that's not included. So here we're gonna go done, something simple. So if we go ahead and do that, I'm just gonna put A, how old is A, 18, B, how old is B, B is 28 or 258, uh, C is then 71. There you go. Now you'll see that it only incremented this done portion one time. So that's that's useful. Obviously, there's many applications, especially once we get into web crawling, that 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 you can definitely apply to us. So it's a really useful technique. And another way of approaching it is to use lists. And hopefully, if you haven't watched the previous list video, I recommend that you check it out. I actually recommend that you check out the entire playlist so you can follow along more efficiently. So here we're gonna go name list. Again, name list is just a variable. You can call it whatever you want. And then here we're going to do a list. So let's let's just do the same list that we had before. So we'll king, Ahmed, C, 
to. Okay. So instead of looping through uh, uh, number range, what we're going to do here is we're going to go name in name list, right? So that we know that name list, and Python knows that name list is a list because we defined it earlier. So name is just going to iterate through each of these items. So I'm going to actually I will gonna comment out this section of code just because we don't need it anymore. And then we'll say, how old are you? And then we're going we're gonna to include the name here. So how old are you? And then we'll include, uh, we'll drop the, the question mark for now. And then here it will ask the same thing, except for it will already know who, who you're talking to. So if we go ahead and run that, it will say, how old are you, King? Okay, that's a good question. Actually, we should probably include, actually, it will include the question mark in space here. Just be a little bit easier. How old are you, King? That's a good question. So I am 28. How old are you, Ahmed? Okay, Ahmed is 70. And then how old are you, Sue? Sue is 25 example then done so you can see here how you can then use not only for loop between a range but you can also for loop uh between uh, uh list name list so that's a really like useful uh technique and something that you can certainly use and apply especially when you get to web scraping so that's all I'm going to cover. There's obviously a lot more that we, could, we, we might cover in future more advanced lessons in Python, but this is a good basis and going to cover a majority of your needs. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. If you thought this tutorial was useful or helpful, uh, feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.